हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन द रोज प्रोजेक्ट आई एम दत्तात्रय जाधव फ्रॉम सदगुरु गाडगे महाराज कॉलेज कराड व्हिच इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ रोयज शिक्षण संस्था दिस लेक्चर इज कंडक्टेड फॉर रोयत ऑनलाईन स्कूल एज्युकेशन दॅट इज रोज प्रोजेक्ट इट्स आवर फिफ्थ लेक्चर ऑन इनडेफिनाईट इंटिग्रेशन व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन इंटिग्रल ऑफ द फॉर्म इंटिग्रेशन ऑफ 1 upon x square plus a square dx or integration of 1 upon x square minus a square dx or integration of 1 upon a square minus x square dx or integration of 1 upon root of a square minus x square dx or integration of 1 upon root of x square minus a square dx or integration of 1 upon square root of x square plus a square dx. In short, numerator contains 1 and denominator contains 2 terms in which one is a variable square and other is constant square. Here are the formulas on some special integrals. First formula is integration of 1 upon x square plus a square dx is equal to 1 upon a into tan inverse of x divided by a plus c. Second formula is integration of 1 upon x square minus a square dx is equal to 1 upon 2a into log of x minus a divided by x plus a plus c. Third formula is integration of 1 upon a square minus x square dx is equal to 1 upon 2a into log of a plus x divided by a minus x plus c. Fourth formula is integration of 1 upon root of a square minus x square dx is equal to sin inverse of x divided by a plus c. Fifth formula is integration of 1 upon root of x square minus a square dx is equal to log of x plus root of x square minus a square plus c. That is log of x plus denominator term plus c. Sixth formula is integration of 1 upon root of x square plus a square dx is equal to log of x plus root of x square plus a square plus c. That is log of x plus denominator term plus c. Seventh formula is integration of 1 upon x root of x square minus a square dx is equal to 1 upon a into sec inverse of x divided by a plus c. Remember here, first three formulas are without square roots and last four formulas are with square roots. Here are the standard substitution for proving the results on some special integrals. If the function contains root of a square minus x square or only a square minus x square, then we substitute x is equal to a sin theta or x is equal to a cos theta. If the function contains root of a square plus x square or only a square plus x square, then we substitute x is equal to a tan theta or x is equal to a quad theta. If the function contains root of x square minus a square term, then we substitute x is equal to a sec theta or 
एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए कोसेक थीटा इफ द फंक्शन कंटेन्स रूट ऑफ ए माइनस एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय ए प्लस एक्स देन वी सब्सटीट्यूट एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए कॉस टू थीटा स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी प्रूव सम स्पेशल इंटीग्रल रिजल्ट हियर इज फर्स्ट रिजल्ट प्रूव दैट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस ए स्क्वेर डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन ए इन टू टेन इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय ए प्लस सी सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट डिनोट द गिवन इंटीग्रेशन बाय आय लेट आय इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ वन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस ए स्क्वेर डी एक्स हियर इन डिनोमिनेटर वी क्लियरली सीन द टर्म एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस ए स्क्वेर देर फोर पुट एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए टेन थीटा दिस इंप्लाइज टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय ए दिस इंप्लाइज थीटा इज इक्वल टू टेन इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय ऑन डिफरेंशिएटिंग एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए टेन थीटा here lhs contains the term x and rhs contains the terms of theta hence we differentiate lhs with respect to x and we differentiate rhs with respect to theta therefore derivative of x with respect to x is 1 and since it is differentiated with respect to x so multiplied it by dx and derivative of a tan theta a is constant derivative of tan theta is sec square theta since we differentiate it with respect to theta so we multiplied by d theta therefore dx is equal to a into sec square theta d theta therefore integration becomes i is equal to integration one as it is divided by a square tan square theta plus a square into a sec square theta d theta taking a square common from denominator therefore i is equal to integration of 1 into a sec square theta is a sec square theta divided by a square into bracket tan square theta plus 1 into d theta and we know that 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta therefore i is equal to integration of sec square theta divided by a into sec square theta here we cancel the term a also sec square theta sec square theta get cancel and there is term in denominator a which is constant if inside the integration there is a constant so we can take that constant outside the integration therefore i is equal to 1 upon a into integration of d theta that is integration of 1 with respect to theta we know that integration of 1 is theta so i is equal to 1 upon a into theta plus c but what is the value of theta theta is equal to tan inverse of x upon a therefore i is equal to 1 upon a into tan inverse of x divided by a plus c therefore integration of 1 upon x square plus a square dx is equal to 1 upon a into tan inverse of x upon a plus c for example integration of 1 upon 4 plus x square dx is equal to this can be written as 1 upon x square plus 2 square dx it looks like here is one term is of variable square and other term is like constant square 
So, it looks like 1 upon x square plus a square. So, integration of 1 upon x square plus a square is 1 upon a tan inverse of x upon a. So, 1 upon 2 into tan inverse of x divided by 2 plus constant of integration c. Next, prove that integration of 1 upon x square minus a square dx is equal to 1 upon 2a into log of x minus a divided by x plus a plus c. Solution let i is equal to integration of 1 upon x square minus a square dx. We know that x square minus a square is equal to x minus a into x plus a. Therefore, i is equal to integration of 1 upon x minus a into x plus a. x minus a and x plus a are linear expressions. When we subtract these two linear expression, then term of x will be cancelled. Therefore, we write this term inside the integration that is 1 upon m into n in the form of subtraction of two terms that is 1 upon m minus 1 upon n. We know that 1 upon m minus 1 upon n is equal to its n minus m divided by m into n. Therefore, 1 upon m into n is equal to 1 upon n minus m into bracket. It is 1 upon m minus 1 upon n. Here, n minus m is equal to n is x plus a and m is x minus a. So, minus x minus minus plus a which is equal to 2a. Therefore, i is equal to integration 1 upon 2a into bracket 1 upon x minus a minus 1 upon x plus a dx. Here, 1 upon 2a is constant. So, take outside the sign of integration and inside the integration there is subtraction. So, we separate integration sign with the dx. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon 2a into integration of 1 upon x minus a dx minus integration of 1 upon x plus a dx. We know that integration of 1 upon x minus a dx is log of x minus a divided by coefficient of x that is 1 and integration of 1 upon x plus a dx is log of x plus a divided by coefficient of x that is 1. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon 2a into log of x minus a minus log of x plus a plus constant of integration c. Consider x minus a as m and x plus a as n. We know that log m minus log n is nothing but log of m divided by n. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon 2a log of x minus a divided by x plus a plus constant of integration c. Therefore, integration of 1 upon x square minus a square dx is equal to 1 upon 2a log of x minus a divided by x plus a plus constant of integration c. For example, integration of 1 upon x square minus 4 dx is equal to. This can be written as integration of 1 upon x square minus 2 square dx and using the result integration of 1 upon x square minus a square dx is equal to 1 upon 2 into a log of negative factor that is x minus a divided by positive factor that is x plus a plus constant of integration c. So, it is 1 upon 
2 into value of a is 2 into log of negative factor is x minus 2 divided by positive factor is x plus 2 plus constant of integration c. Finally, I can write here 1 upon 4 into log of x minus 2 divided by x plus 2 plus constant of integration c. Next, prove that integration of 1 upon a square minus x square dx is equal to 1 upon 2a log of a plus x divided by a minus x plus c. Solution let i is equal to integration of 1 upon a square minus x square dx. We know that factors of a square minus x square are a plus x and a minus x. Therefore, i is equal to integration of 1 upon a plus x into a minus x dx. a plus x and a minus x are linear expressions and when we they add the term of x is cancelled. So, we are writing the term inside the integration that is 1 upon m into n as addition of two terms that is 1 upon m plus 1 upon n which is equal to on making denominator same it is n plus m divided by m into n. But inside the integration there is term of 1 upon m into n. So, we find the value of 1 upon m into n which is equal to 1 upon m plus n into bracket 1 upon m plus 1 upon n where m plus n which is equal to a plus x plus a minus x which is equal to 2a plus x minus x get cancelled. Therefore, i is equal to integration 1 upon 2a into 1 upon a plus x plus 1 upon a minus x dx. Here 1 upon 2a is a constant, so we can take that constant outside the sign of integration. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon 2a into integration of 1 upon a plus x plus 1 upon a minus x dx. Inside the integration, there is addition, so we separate integration sign with dx. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon 2a into integration of 1 upon a plus x dx plus integration of 1 upon a minus x dx. We know that integration of 1 upon a plus x dx is log of a plus x divided by coefficient of x that is 1 plus integration of 1 upon a minus x dx is log of a minus x divided by coefficient of x that is minus 1. So, i is equal to 1 upon 2a as it is into log of a plus x plus log of a minus x divided by minus 1 plus c which is equal to 1 upon 2a into log of a plus x minus log of a minus x log of a plus x minus log of a minus x is nothing but log of a plus x divided by a minus x. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon 2a log of a plus x divided by a minus x plus c. Therefore, integration of 1 upon a square minus x square dx is equal to 1 upon 2a log of a plus x divided by a minus x plus c. For example, integration of 1 upon 4 minus x square dx is equal to, this can be written as 1 upon 2 square minus x square dx. It looks like a square minus x square. Therefore, integration becomes 1 upon 
2 into a that is 2 into log of positive factor it is 2 plus x divided by negative factor it is 2 minus x plus constant of integration c which is equal to 1 upon 4 into log of 2 plus x divided by 2 minus x plus c. Next, prove that integration of 1 upon root of a square minus x square dx is equal to sin inverse of x divided by a plus c. Solution let i is equal to integration of 1 upon root of a square minus x square dx. Clearly, we seen here the expression is as a square minus x square. So, put x is equal to a sin theta. This implies sin theta is equal to x divided by a. This implies theta is equal to sin inverse of x divided by a. On differentiating, here derivative of x is 1 with respect to x. So, 1 into dx is equal to derivative of a sin theta is a constant derivative of sin theta is cos theta and here we differentiate it with respect to theta. So, multiply it by d theta. Therefore, dx is equal to a cos theta d theta. Above substitution reduces given integral in the form i is equal to integration of 1 upon root of a square minus a square sin square theta into a cos theta d theta. 1 into a cos theta is a cos theta and taking here a square common inside the square root. Therefore, i is equal to integration of a cos theta divided by root of a square into 1 minus sin square theta d theta. We know that 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta and square root of cos square theta is cos theta. Also, square root of a square is a. Therefore, i is equal to integration of a cos theta divided by a cos theta d theta. Therefore, on cancelling, i is equal to integration of d theta means integration of 1 with respect to theta. We know that integration of 1 with respect to theta is theta plus c. Therefore, i is equal to theta plus c. What is theta? Here theta is sin inverse of x divided by a. Therefore, i is equal to sin inverse of x divided by a plus constant of integration c. Therefore, integration of 1 upon root of a square minus x square dx is equal to sin inverse x divided by a plus c. For example, integration of 1 upon root of 4 minus x square dx is equal to integration of 1 upon root of 2 square minus x square dx which is equal to using the formula integration of 1 upon root of a square minus x square dx is equal to sin inverse x divided by a plus c. The answer is sin inverse of x divided by here a is 2 plus c. Next, prove that integration of 1 upon root of x square minus a square dx is equal to log of x plus square root of x square minus a square plus constant of integration c. Proof, let i is equal to integration of 1 upon root of x square minus a square dx. Here clearly we see the expression x square minus a square. So, we put x is equal to a sec theta. This implies sec theta is equal to x divided by a. This implies theta is equal to sec inverse of x divided by a. On differentiating, 
x is equal to a sec theta, we get 1 into dx is equal to a constant as it is derivative of sec theta is sec theta into tan theta into d theta. Therefore, dx is equal to a sec theta into tan theta d theta. Therefore, i is equal to integration becomes 1 upon root of a square sec square theta minus a square into a into sec theta tan theta d theta. 1 into a into sec theta tan theta is nothing but a into sec theta into tan theta and taking a square common inside the square root. Therefore, i is equal to integration a sec theta into tan theta divided by root of a square into sec square theta minus 1 into d theta. We know that sec square theta minus 1 is tan square theta. Therefore, i is equal to integration a sec theta into tan theta divided by square root of a square into tan square theta d theta. Square root of a square is a and square root of tan square theta is tan theta. Therefore, i is equal to integration a sec theta into tan theta divided by a tan theta d theta. Cancelling the term of a and tan theta. Therefore, i is equal to integration of sec theta d theta. We know that integration of sec theta d theta is log of sec theta plus tan theta plus c. Therefore, i is equal to log of sec theta plus tan theta can be written as square root of tan square theta that is square root of sec square theta minus 1. Therefore, i is equal to log of sec theta plus square root of sec square theta minus 1 plus c. Here c is a capital C which is equal to log of here value of sec theta is x upon a and value of sec square theta is nothing but x square upon a square. Therefore, i is equal to log of x upon a plus square root of x square upon a square minus 1 plus capital C. On simplification, we can write i is equal to log of x plus square root of x square minus a square divided by a plus capital C. i is equal to log of x plus square root of x square minus a square minus log a plus c, which is equal to log of x plus square root of x square minus a square plus small c, where small c is capital C minus log A. Since capital C is a constant term, log A is also constant term and subtraction of these two terms is again a constant. So, we can denote it by small c. Therefore, integration of 1 upon root of x square minus a square dx is equal to log of x plus square root of x square minus a square plus constant of integration c. For example, integration of 1 upon root of x square minus 4 dx is equal to. This can be written as 1 upon root of x square minus 2 square dx. It looks like integration of 1 upon root of x square minus a square dx which is equal to log of x plus the denominator term here denominator term is root of x square minus 2 square plus constant of integration c, which is equal to log of x plus root of x square minus 4 plus c. Next, prove that integration of 1 upon square root of a square plus x square dx is equal to log of x plus 
square root of a square plus x square plus c. Proof let i is equal to integration of 1 upon root of a square plus x square dx. Here clearly we seen the expression a square plus x square. The substitution for the expression a square plus x square is put x is equal to a tan theta. This implies tan theta is equal to x divided by a. This implies theta is equal to tan inverse of x divided by a. Differentiating x is equal to a tan theta. We get derivative of x is 1 since it is differentiated with respect to x. So, we multiplied here by dx is equal to derivative of a tan theta a is constant and derivative of tan theta is 6 square theta. Since we differentiate RHS with respect to theta, so we multiplied here by d theta. So, dx is equal to a into 6 square theta d theta. Therefore, our integration becomes i is equal to integration of 1 upon root of a square plus a square tan square theta into a 6 square theta d theta. 1 into a 6 square theta is a 6 square theta and taking a square common inside the square root. Therefore, i is equal to integration a 6 square theta divided by square root of a square into 1 plus tan square theta d theta. We know that 1 plus tan square theta is 6 square theta and square root of 6 square theta is sec theta and also square root of a square is a. So, I am writing this as i is equal to integration of a sec theta into sec theta divided by a sec theta d theta. Cancelling the term a sec theta we get i is equal to integration of sec theta d theta. We know that integration of sec theta with respect to theta is log of sec theta plus tan theta plus c. Therefore, i is equal to log of tan theta plus sec theta plus c. Sec theta is nothing but square root of sec square theta. Therefore, i is equal to log of tan theta plus square root of sec square theta plus c putting the value of 6 square theta, i is equal to log of tan theta plus square root of 1 plus tan square theta plus c. Remember here c is a capital. Here we know that the value of tan theta is x divided by a. So, i is equal to log of x divided by a plus square root of 1 plus x square divided by a square plus capital C. On simplification, i is equal to log of x plus square root of a square plus x square divided by a plus capital C. So, i is equal to log of x plus square root of a square plus x square minus log a plus capital C. Here, capital C is a constant term and log a is also constant term. So, C minus log a is again a constant term. Instead of capital C minus log A, I can write here small c. Therefore, i is equal to log of x plus square root of a square plus x square plus small c, where capital C minus log A is equal to small c. Therefore, integration of 1 upon root of a square plus x square dx is equal to log of x plus root of a square plus x square plus c. For example, integration of 1 upon root of 4 plus x square dx, which is equal to integration of 1 upon root of 2 square plus x square dx. It looks like integration of 1 upon root of a square plus x square dx. So, answer is log of x plus denominator term that is square root of 2 square plus x square plus constant of integration c which is equal to log of x plus square root of 4 plus x square 
plus constant of integration c. Next, prove that integration of 1 upon x root of x square minus a square dx which is equal to 1 upon a sec inverse of x divided by a plus c. First, denote the integration by i. So, solution let i is equal to integration of 1 upon x root of x square minus a square dx. Here, expression inside the integration is x square minus a square. So, put x is equal to a sec theta. This implies sec theta is equal to x divided by a. This implies theta is equal to sec inverse x divided by a. On differentiating x is equal to a sec theta, derivative of x is 1 since it is differentiated with respect to x. So, we multiplied here by dx is equal to derivative of a sec theta is a into sec theta tan theta. Since RHS is differentiated with respect to theta. So, we multiplied here by d theta. Therefore, dx is equal to a sec theta into tan theta d theta. Therefore, i is equal to integration 1 upon a sec theta root of a square sec square theta minus a square into a sec theta tan theta d theta. 1 into a sec theta tan theta is nothing but a sec theta into tan theta and taking a square common inside the square root. Therefore, i is equal to integration tan theta divided by square root of a square into bracket sec square theta minus 1 d theta. Here we cancel the terms a a and also sec theta and sec theta. We know that sec square theta minus 1 is nothing but tan square theta. So, i is equal to integration of tan theta square root of a square into tan square theta d theta. Square root of a square is a and square root of tan square theta is tan theta. Therefore, i is equal to integration of tan theta divided by a into tan theta d theta. Here we cancel the term tan theta tan theta. We know that a is a constant, so we take outside the sign of integration. So, i is equal to 1 upon a into integration of d theta, that is integration of 1 with respect to theta. We know that integration of 1 is theta plus c, so i is equal to 1 upon a into theta plus c. But what is theta? theta is here sec inverse of x upon a. Therefore, i is equal to 1 upon a into sec inverse of x divided by a plus c. Therefore, integration of 1 upon x root of x square minus a square dx is equal to 1 upon a sec inverse of x upon a plus c. For example, integration of 1 upon x root of x square minus 4 dx which is equal to integration of 1 upon x root of x square minus 2 square dx which is nothing but 1 upon 2 into sec inverse of x divided by 2 plus constant of integration c. So, students remember all these formulas of spatial integrals. Thank you for watching the video.